Good morning. So today is election day here in Sweden. I feel weird about it. I don't know what it is. It just feels very strange, the whole thing. So we'll see what happens. Right. Yesterday, me and my girlfriend, we were in this small town close by. There's a market there right now. And uh, it was a beautiful day, lots of people. And there were political campaigners there from the different parties. And I always, I always talk to them. I walk up to them, ask them questions, and say something, you see? And then there was the Christian Democrat people. There was a, there was a lady and a guy, and they were standing there with their booklets and stuff, brochures. And they looked very happy. I walked up to them, and we started talking. And uh, then I said, I could probably consider voting for this party, the Christian Democrats, if it wasn't for one thing, I said. And the lady said, so, what, what is it? Well, your party approved the T passport. And I can't vote for a party, any party who approves of this. And I was expecting a discussion. There was nothing. She just nodded. Yeah. And she looked embarrassed. And I moved on. <laughs> All right, so you guys in England, you have a new king. King Charles. Well, I have to be honest, I don't like the guy. I don't like him at all. To me, it's a climate hysteria nutcase. That's what it is. No, I don't like it. All right, that's all about that. All right, now I'll tell you some good news. Uh, because yesterday, uh, leading physicians, uh, doctors and specialists came together virtually, happened yesterday. People from India and members of the Universal Health Organization, uh, people from 34 countries, yeah, doctors, specialists, and they talked and uh, they signed a declaration. And it's very good. Good things are happening. Of course, uh, I'll tell you about this. Uh, Declaration of International Medical Crisis. People from t 34 countries. And they said, it's a, there's an international medical crisis. This is what they say. We are currently witnessing an excess in mortality in those countries where the majority of the population drank the tea. To date, this excess mortality has neither been sufficiently investigated nor studied by national and international health institutions. The large number of sudden deaths in previously healthy young people who got the tea is particularly worrying, as is the high incidence of miscarriages and prenatal deaths which have not been investigated. A large number of adverse side effects, including hospitalizations, permanent disabilities and deaths related to the tea, have been reported officially. The registered numbers has no precedent in world history. Therefore, we consider that we are facing because a serious international medical crisis. And then they have uh, recommendations or demands, a long list of them. I will post a link to this thing. And one of them is a complete worldwide stop of the tea. Good things are happening. A lot of people are coming out. This is great stuff. And I was thinking about this guy, Bill Gates, I was thinking about his friends, all his friends. I think they are now becoming nervous. Well, I think they have been nervous for a long time. It doesn't look good for you, Bill Gates. I think it's going to be a tough year for you. That's right. Well, I'm not complaining. 
I think you should hang Bill Gates. That's right. That's all. Be good.